Hey guys, I know it's been a while since I've gone live. In fact, it's probably been, I don't know, two years. Um, anyway, I'm going to wait for people to start coming in and then I will start chatting more. Jojo, hi. <laughs> I was wondering if you were going to show up. Um, yeah, so today I wasn't able to put up a video and I know... I promised you guys that we would put up a video um, back to like at least once a week, but I hadn't been able to do it. I've had a lot of stuff going. <laughs> I know you'd be here, um, but I wanted to go live because I'm like, you know what? I can do a live look at the day and still hang out and chit chat because there are a lot of new people that kind of peek their heads through sometime on some of the videos be like, girl, you talk too much. And I'm like, because this is our community and this is us hanging out. So um, we get to talk. Forgive me for the camera quality. I'm using <laughs> my laptop camera and let me know if you can hear me. Cause I'm also using a separate mic. So if you were having a hard time hearing me, please let me know. Cause I don't have my normal live setup. I haven't done it in like two years. So I really don't even, I don't even remember how to connect all my cameras. And I've been using a new camera since I've gone live. So I've got to figure that out. What's up, Talisa? Hey. <laughs> Y'all look really ratchet. This is what happens when you have natural light and a janky old computer camera. I feel like I'm going back to 2009 when I started out in YouTube. Hey. <laughs> anyway, um, I'm about to be a real fangirl real quick. I know somebody is going to ask me about my lipstick. So before we get further, it looks better than this during the day. It looks really bad. Well, my makeup looks back. I'm like oily right now. But the lipstick that I'm wearing is actually this Fenty Beauty. I'm so in love with all of her Stana lipsticks. This is the one that's called Uncuffed. And oh, I remember doing this. Put your hand up so you can focus. Yes. Don't look at my nails. This color is amazing. I call it the Black Girl's Nude. Yeah, so that's what this color is. It looks better, so don't be judging. Um, but yeah, so I wanted to do a look of the day because this sweater dress that I actually have on right now has pockets, and so <laughs> I'm really excited about it. And um, some boots that I haven't showed y'all. I don't. I didn't do an unboxing. I don't remember why. I think I was kind of in a funk with YouTube when I actually got these boots. It's been a while, but <clears throat> I'm gonna show them to you in a minute. They are like super amazing. However, <laughs> I've already kind of messed the heel up on them, and I've had to do some reconstructing and de deconstructing. Not myself. I sent them out to to be done when I first got them. Actually, I think it was last Christmas when I got these boots. So anyway, they're like the boots that y'all have seen. I think, I know Beyonce has a pair. I think Rihanna was spotted in a pair. Um, and somebody else, I can't remember. Maybe when you see them, you'll know. But I like to wear them with this little sweater dress. This is of course from House of Hot, but it's, it feels like cashmere, but it's not real cashmere because we not on a cashmere budget over here for no sweater dress. So um it feels like it though. It's so soft and it's got pockets. I can't wait to show it to you. Now we don't wear shoes in my house, so I don't have my boots on right now. I will, I don't even know if I have to put them on because I don't know if you could actually see me. I have no idea what all this looks like behind me. I just wanted to hop on and be like, hey y'all, you know, and say what's up. Hey AJ, Miss Lady. <laughs> are you looking at my shoes in the back, Jojo? Of course you are. <laughs> can, oh, can y'all hear me okay? Um, because the levels on here is showing like one bar. So I don't know if you can actually hear me or it's very faint. Let me know and I can try to turn the volume up on this microphone. The only thing that I'm not using from my ratchet computer is this. It's one of my podcast mics. So um, it works pretty good. I just didn't know if I grabbed the right one. One of them has a problem. Okay, great. I'm glad y'all can hear me. Thank you so much. Um, ah, thanks, sis. I don't feel adorable. I feel super greasy, to be honest. I've, I've got like oil coming out 
of every single pore. Let me know if these earrings, I love these earrings, by the way, but let me know if they're getting on your nerves like dangling because they can do that. Um, I'll take them off if they're bothering y'all. But uh, Nevada is treating me fine. I, well, I really didn't, I was about to say this is my first summer here, but really I wasn't here that much. As y'all know, I was kind of bouncing around trying to get my life like Dub and Louise. So um, thanks, Miss Parker. Oh, I couldn't wait to say that. Hey, Miss Parker. <laughs> hey, sis. <laughs> um, yeah, so. I, I wasn't here this summer, but I'm looking forward to the cooler temperatures. Like this is the first week that we've had temperatures in the 70s and low 80s. So everybody's acting the fool right now. Like you can't get a restaurant reservation on a patio to save your life. Um, but yeah. Hi, Annette. Oh man, you love my makeup. I was just telling everybody how I'm super oily right now. So thank you. That makes me feel better. And I'm using the little natural light that's outside of this door. That's off my, my bedroom. And um, that's all I got. So when the sun start going down, we might have to finish this. I don't know how much time we got because uh, the sun's starting to drop sooner. But anyway, we're going to be here until we be here. And I don't have any of my lights set up. I did y'all really bad. I'm just real janky. I'm trying to wait for more people to come on because I don't know how these notification things work on YouTube anymore. I told you I haven't streamed live in... I think it's been at least two years. I know it's been since before I moved. And I'm gonna tell y'all why I stopped streaming live. It wasn't because I wanted to, but I got so pissed at YouTube when I was about to leave. I think some of y'all may notice no, notice this, but um, thanks AJ. Um, so YouTube gave me a strike and I couldn't put this information like in the title or anything because they be tripping like big time. They will censor that crap out of you. Do not think that you don't get censored because you do. Um, they gave me a strike. A strike is serious when you are a partner or whatever. As having one strike in, I think at the time it was like maybe in eight years, I was unable to actually go live. They banned me from going live for like six months and a whole bunch of other like penalties. And the thing is they they gave me a strike because of an unboxing video. And I'm gonna show you. Oh, y'all gonna see my outfit. So, all right, y'all see it fine. I'll show it to you anyway again. This how, how mad I was. Okay, let's see. Ooh, I can't get these shoes out. Okay, so. This is how mad I was. I haven't worn these shoes. I did the unboxing on these. Look, they're still stuffed. This was two years ago. They gave me a strike for the unboxing of these videos because I think I said they were like, I didn't say the word. Y'all know I don't cuss on my channel. But if you can think of the first letter that Frank starts with, and I said that letter and me, Boots, and that's the only thing I can think of why I got the strike. That was the only thing. They took the whole video down and I had, it took me like three months to find, go through all my hard drives to find out like what I could have possibly said. There was nothing in that video other than me saying that letter, me boots. And um, they gave me a strike and I, you know, put in for an appeal and then they wouldn't tell me why. So I was really mad and I was literally about to quit YouTube. I was dead serious. And that's when I kind of stopped making videos consistently because it really kind of sent me like into like depression. I know that sounds stupid, but when this is like your livelihood and like this is what I really do every day, whether it be working with like different brands or creating content for other brands. And of course, you know, still doing the acting stuff like this is what I do. So, oh, it just made me so angry especially because I had just spent so much money on the live broadcast equipment. I literally, I spent over $2,000 on just the equipment so that I could go live with my good camera so that y'all could like get good footage, you know, so we could switch the cameras and make it look all good, you know, because when Tierra was working for me and it's horrible. Let me read these comments real quick. Um, 
Oh, I know. People say so much. I have I've heard people like actually cussing and like, you know, partially bleeping it out or doing stupid stuff and like really uh, skating along the lines of provocative, you know, material. So I don't know. So it comes so straight. Yeah, it's hard. Like it really is. Um, I know it's like, oh, cry me a river. Like y'all are on here. But the thing is, is like people, especially that started back when I did in 2009, um, it like you put so much effort into it and you spend so much money. Like, I don't even want to tell you how much money I've spent on um, just equipment. And it's not like I'm not trying to get somebody to feel sorry for me or anything by any means, because I'm always going to make something happen. Like, you know, I'll shoot content for shoot and produce content for, for other companies and stuff. It's no big deal. Like I'm, I'll get the money back, but it is just, it's hard when you're passionate about something. And like, this is what I loved to do. And I still love doing it. Um, they just make it very, very, very hard. Girl, Miss Lady 33, what is your name? Or you can send it to me if you are on Instagram. Send me a DM so I'll know. Because some of y'all's usernames, I recognize your username. But then if you're on another platform and I don't know who you are, then, you know, I want to make sure that, like, when I see comments or something or, like, if you follow me, then, like, I can know who you are or, like, follow you back or something um, or chit chat. So let me know. <laughs> Let's see. Oh, thank you, Ursula. Y'all make me feel better. <laughs> All 23 of us. <laughs> um, so yeah, okay, so I'm gonna do this little look of the day. Um, you just saw it when I went, but I'm gonna scoot over here so I can tell you about it. I'll try to talk loud. I see, I probably should be over here. Okay, so this is on the store. And I have on a medium, it runs kind of big, but I like the loose fit on it. So if you want it to be tighter, of course, you can get it smaller. But I love the pockets. Look at the pockets. Yes. And these are the boots that I wore with it today that I've been wearing with it. Um, like I said, if you missed it, we don't wear shoes in my house so i don't have them on right now but omg let's look at this closer look how dirty they are at the bottom i've messed them up because we were doing a photo shoot and um it was up in red rock this very mountainous terrain these boots are so gorgeous They're basically like a moto jacket cut up. <sighs> yeah. These are from St. Lauren. But yeah, so that's the little outfit. And um <gasps> oh hey girl. My 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 BBL. Oh yeah, let's look at the BBL. So, well, you can't really see it that good, but I've gained weight. So y'all, she's taking a mind in shape of her own. I don't know if you can see that good. Hey. <laughs> yeah, so that's it. Um, my little curls are, they've been trying to get their life. I always tell people that I don't, um, it's not me trying to train my hair, it's my hair training me. Because literally that's what it is. I had to figure out what my hair liked and didn't like. And right now I've been using Main Choice. I don't know if y'all know, but M-A-N-E. And the owner, the um, founder, Courtney, I think it's Iodell or Aodell, something like that. She's so fabulous. Yeah, I love Courtney. Oh my gosh. She's just an amazing, beautiful black woman. I'm just, I'm kind of low-key crushing on her like she's amazing but her products are even more amazing and i use the leave-in conditioner as kind of like an everyday thing um and then of course i do my wash but yeah once a week let's see uh yeah it is looking fuller 
Um, my hair is super thick. Like if I take it down out of this, this head tie thingy, it's like, pfft. Oh, the main choice three in one. Yes. Okay. So this is what I do with main choice three in one. Let me go get the one I have because I have two different ones, but I'm going to get the main one. Hold on. I also use the tropical one, but this is the one that I buy the most. And I'm going to tell you why, because I'm going to give you a little cheat on how to do it. Okay. So this is the one, this is the three in one conditioner. This stuff gives me life. So I co-wash my hair with this and I don't wash all of it out because you can leave it, um, leave it in as well. It's the three in one. Um, once I saturate my hair and I rinse everything or say if I'm washing my hair and I wash everything and do the regular conditioner and then I use this, this three in one or the other one. And I saturate my hair with it really well. And I rinse a little bit of it out. And then I use the, oh, what is it called? their gel. If I went out of breath, <laughs> we go run and get the gel. But it comes in a tub and it's the same label. The gel looks almost like it's kind of purple. The only thing I don't like about the gel, it flakes a little bit. But it has tons of vitamins in it that your hair actually really loves. So you don't get all, you might get a little flaking, but you don't get all the breakage and stuff that the other gel can do to your hair and cause damage, you know, from breaking and stuff. So I really, really love this. It does detangle. It's a hell of a detangler. That's what the three-in-one is. So it's a conditioner, detangler, and a leave-in. And when I tell you... It actually works. And like, I am not on Courtney's payroll, like maybe one day, but not today. Um, it really does work. It's so good. It detangles my hair like that. And my hair is so thick and will do what it wants to. So I highly recommend the three in one conditioner, either, either from either line, because she has a bunch of different lines. You will get confused. But the reason I do this, this is what I was going to tell y'all. Um, okay. <laughs> I'm, yeah, I'm a little ADD, so I'm trying to read comments and talk. Um, the reason I do this is because CVS is contracted to sell this particular line. And if you have a CVS near you or you have like a CVS card, be sure you sign up for the emails. Now, I don't like to get a lot of junk emails, but with CVS, they will send you a 32% off coupon or 30% off coupon. I think they start off with the 30%. I have been doing it for so long, I get the 32% off coupons. And if I don't use them, then I'll usually get it for like, you know, I get one a week because they will issue it on Thursday. And as long as you send it to your phone before um, Monday, you can use it on Monday, if that makes sense. Um, with that, brands like this, CVS cannot change the price. This, it's called price setting and they have a set price they can sell this at. That means it's going to be $13.99 across the board, no matter where you see it. So I use my 32% off coupon and I will clean their shelves off getting this particular conditioner because I'm going to use it anyway. And that's why I use this one over the other one. The other one I think is at Walmart and Walmart sells it for like $14.99. So you know, that's a lot of savings. So I always use my 32% off coupon at CVS only for things that they have um, set prices for, like that they can't raise the price. And it's usually different uh, particular brands, stuff like paper towels, toilet papers, they can charge whatever they want. So I don't recommend getting that kind of stuff, even with the coupon from um, CVS. But anytime you have like a branded hairline like this, that has a contract with them, use your little 30% off coupon and you will never pay full price for it. They end up taking the loss. So just a little, the more you know. Um, okay, and what shampoo? Okay, so I still, <laughs> it's multitasking, right. Um, I still use the Diva Curl No Poo and Low Poo. Cause, and then sometimes I use, um, so, Jane Carter has a really good shampoo that's actually like, almost like a, it's like a clarifying shampoo. You don't want to do that too often because that strips everything from your hair and you have to replace the moisture that you took out. So I may do a clarifying uh, shampoo once every two weeks or once every three weeks. Um, 
the difference with the the clarifying versus the regular shampoo. The regular shampoo is going to suds and, and you know clean your hair, but the clarifying is going to strip everything out, including the moisture. So it's very important that on that day you do a deep conditioner can treatment by all means. I mean, you can do those, I guess, as much as you want, but especially when you do a clarifying shampoo, um, just because you need that moisture put back into your hair. I would even do like a heat treatment, um, not the heat treatment, but the hot oil treatment or something like that, um, that doesn't have, you know, the parabens and stuff in it. Just read the labels. When I started reading the labels and making sure that my hair products didn't have all that crazy stuff in it, my hair started really acting the way I wanted it to. So like this one, let's see. It says no mineral oil, no petroleum, no parabens, no sulfates, no formaldehydes. That's good. That's why my hair loves the stuff. So anyway, but yes. Um, also, yes, the low poo and no poo. Hi, Lori. I was just telling them earlier in case y'all missed it. Um, I haven't been live in like two years, but I'm going to start carving out a time to go live. But since I didn't put up a video this week, I wanted to make sure that I showed my face and said, hey, because um, to me, it's really about the community. That's what I was telling them earlier when I first went on. A lot of people, especially people that come over for my BBL videos, they hate that I talk so much but they don't realize I'm not just putting up a video just to put up a video. This is how I connect with everybody. You know, like y'all are my sisters. And I tell people even like in my day-to-day -day life and I talk about a lot of y'all very often. I'm surprised your ears aren't burning, but um, that's, I don't know. Like I don't have many friends out here in Vegas. Maybe that's what it is that I've wanted to, focus on building a community um, even more so. Cause even when I was in LA, it was still all about community. But I think since I've been in Vegas, it's even more so about community. Um, and I think also because a lot of y'all are on cross platforms. So y'all are on Facebook and Instagram and Snapchat. And it makes me feel closer to you. Like I really be thinking I know y'all and I'm like, oh wait, dang, we never met. But that's okay, because in my head we have, so. <laughs> um, anyway, hey, T oh, hey, Tamara, how you doing? <laughs> yeah, gotta forgive me. I'm looking into the light, so it's a little blind, and um, it's just natural light. We're not doing nothing special today other than chit-chatting. And if y'all didn't see my little outfit, I'll show it one more time, but you can go back and look at the video because I'll leave it up for a while. It's a sweater dress. Her name is Kendra. Hey, Kendra. Mm, 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 mm. <laughs> it's in the House of Hot store. If you think you want it or whatever, let me know before we get out of here because I'll create y'all a special code for hanging out with me live. And I'll give it to you for 25% off. Okay, so just let me know. Did you hear that? I'm talking to the screen like y'all can hear me. The microphone's actually right here. So, yeah. Um, let's see. Love Target so you can catch my... Oh, girl, stop! Y'all making me feel all good on this good Friday afternoon. <laughs> Thank you. Beady... Be You've been watching Martin way too long, sis. Um... <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. You trying to get into my class? <laughs> well, those are all the shoes. So the way my room is set up, I don't know if you saw. I think I did a my room tour, like maybe it was earlier this year. And so half of my room is supposed to be like a sitting area, but y'all, I ain't got time for that in my life. So. I made it into like my little dressing studio, my little, it made me feel like I had a little boutique because I have not been shopping. Let's talk about that in a second. But so I set this half of, of my room up like a little boutique so I can feel like, you know, I'm getting my shop on. In fact, I still, this computer right now is literally sitting on old boxes that my purses and shoes came in. So like there's some Chanel boxes and 
some Louboutin boxes that they just posted up. It's just to give the extra feel of the store. And right now I'm being ghetto with them all stacked on top of each other because I didn't have anything to see my computer on. So, um, <laughs> oh, child, wish I was in Toronto with you. Yes, ma'am. Yorkdale Mall. Okay. Um, oh my gosh. <laughs> Please don't hit, don't get into no accidents. In the name of Jesus, Lord, keep L safe. Okay. Um, <laughs> yeah, I wish I was there to go shop. I haven't been shopping. And so also that's what I was going to say about shopping. I decided to not shop. I put myself kind of on a shopping hiatus and focus, put my focus on House pot and house pot the store. I really wanted to switch it up. And um, you know, <laughs> I'm not gonna hurt the boxes. I don't know how much these boxes are. Um, but I really wanted to you know switch it up and do more with my store because I felt like the reason I, I opened the store to begin with was because I had a lot of people constantly asking me where could they get things like what I was showing. Cause you know, I used to show a lot of high end stuff and that's when I was spending a lot of money on things. And, um, I would spend hours returning emails and messages and trying to help people find stuff that's similar to what I talked about. You know, I was really doing a lot of research and stuff. And so I was like, well, how can I <laughs> kind of like make this work for everybody? So I decided to open the store. I didn't really know what I was doing. I was just off the fly because what I do for work wise is production stuff is very technical. It's camera related It's you know, behind the scenes and all that stuff. So the store was very different for me, especially, you know, with clothing and stuff. So I didn't have a lot of clothing and I took the plunge this year to buy a lot of clothing. Um, I don't do drop shipping. People have tried to talk me into doing drop shipping, nothing wrong with that, but I'm kind of a control freak when it comes to quality. So I, I wanted to make sure that like what I was getting and sending out was good stuff. I wanted to make sure that there was nothing falling apart. And when you drop ship, you can't do that. So I am holding a crap load of inventory. Maybe when I go live next time, I'll get my stuff together and figure out how to use my real equipment um, that I paid so much money for to go live. And um I'll show y'all the inventory. Like it's completely taken over the upstairs landing part, which is supposed to be my boys like little gaming area. And I have boxes, boxes of stuff everywhere. My office, it's hardly walkable because it's just boxes of inventory everywhere. So that's what I've been doing. That's why I haven't been spending money. That's why I haven't been doing any unboxings. That's why I've been talking about, you know, um, stuff from my my store not only that but i really think the stuff is cute so that's the whole thing i didn't want to buy anything that i didn't think was um was cute uh that i wouldn't actually wear i don't i want to put a bunch of stuff and i'm not that my style is just like the end game you know like that's, that's the be all but it's just i want to be able to say well i really love this so it's in the store that's kind of the whole premise behind the House of Hot store. Um, so I'm starting to get in a lot more plus size items. I fight with these manufacturers. Oh my God. And some of my vendors, they kill me. They, they love to carry young contemporary. And I'm like, that is such a discriminatory, like little division. It's literally small, medium, large. And they're they're, they're just not that forgiving. I mean, it's hard because when you do the research, the average size of an American woman is a size 10 to 12, not a size two. So it's difficult when I have to buy inventory and they come small, medium, large, and not even that, but they come three to one, meaning three smalls, two mediums, and one large. Like, what am I supposed to do with that? Um, so I've been scouring the earth for good plus size um, manufacturers and vendors. 
So manufacturers, vendors, and distributors can be three totally different people, by the way. Um, it's just crazy. I don't, I don't understand it because the plus size market is huge. Like, why wouldn't you want to offer plus size? It's like, who don't want to look good? Like, you think just because somebody's plus size, they want to wear a, a dang robe and like ugly clothes. Like the stuff that I see for plus size, like it, it's horrible. There have been a few uh, manufacturers and some vendors that I've been able to work with and get some really cute plus size pieces in. But if you don't see a lot of plus size stuff on my site, it's because I'm still looking for good stuff. Um, there are companies like, is it Dia and Co? I think they have like a subscription service. I love their stuff. They're really like, they are, they are making like some headroom in the plus size market. They're finally like, they get it. They are putting together really cute outfits that fit, you know, the bodies of plus size women and they look good. Um, and then there's another girl, I think it's Zelly or Z. I I don't know. I can't remember her name right off. It's in my office, but I'm trying to contact her because she's a designer and she designs specifically for plus size and her clothes are banging. Like they are amazing. So I would love to carry her line. Um, I just don't know what her price point is. And um, so if it works, then I'll try to get her stuff too. So um, let me go back and read comments. Let's see. Oh, <laughs> Jojo, you talking about the where you? Oh, that's right, because you're in um, you're in Toronto too, right? I think I think. Um, yes. Oh, Lori, girl, I know. Being in Texas, I honestly think the average size in Texas is probably um, probably fourteen to sixteen, to be honest. And who gives a damn? Like it's. It's nothing like who cares? Like as long as we feel good and we feel that we look good and we're happy with ourselves, shouldn't matter what size that we are, you know? So it's frustrating. It really is. But if you ever go to the site, um, houseofpie.com and you get frustrated because you don't see uh, a large plus size selection, it is not because I choose to not offer it. It's because... I'm constantly fighting with people. I think every week I'm having a conversation with either a manufacturer or a vendor, you know, complaining about stuff not coming in larger sizes. And I'm like, y'all are missing an entire, you know, majority group of women. And that's just crazy to me. So um, let's see. This is your tire of faux fire jacket fit people with long arms. I have long arms. Um, and I actually have one in my closet for myself if you want to see me try it on. You want me you want to see it on L. <laughs> I should just do a whole nother cooking channel. Cooking channels are hard though. Okay, let me go get the jacket. I'm gonna get the Tyra Fofer jacket real quick. Hold on. Okay, so I'm gonna, I brought another jacket to show y'all something that I just got in. So this is the Tyra faux fur jacket. It's super cute. The arms are pretty long in my opinion. So I'm gonna try it on so you can see. You can see how long my arms are. They're pretty long. I hate wearing jackets with sweaters. I always have to hold the sleeve down. So, I mean, you can see where it fits on my hand. I need lotion, so don't judge me. But it's really, it's a crop jacket. So I think the sleeves are long. Yes. Mm. <laughs> hey, sweetie. Um, oops, I'm not gonna step over. 
If you want this dress, this dress is on the site already. It's called Kendra. So you can go to housewife.com and then if you, if it's, I think it's on the front page, maybe. If it's not, it should be on the first two or three pages, or you can just type Kendra in the search bar and you should be able to find it. But before you do that, I told you I was going to do a code. So let me, bear with me. Um, I'm going to create a code. Actually, I'm gonna. If you want to do it, it's called. It's gonna be go live, G O L I V E, and it'll be twenty percent off. So hold on. Uh -huh, we live, y'all. <laughs> hey, new people. Yo, it's kind of hot. I gotta take this jacket off. You're welcome, Elle. I'm going to show you this other jacket, too. It's super cute. I just got it in. It's not on the site yet, but message me or something like on Facebook or Instagram and let me know if you want it, and I'll make sure I hold it for you. That one, this, the um, the one I'm going to show you does come in, in plus size, too. Um, let's see. I. It's so weird not having TT here. Like, I don't have help anymore. Um... Okay, sis, you said you're so happy I act black now. What is that supposed to mean? I act like who I I am. I, I just, I don't know. I know sometimes I might be in a certain mood or whatever, and I might come off a different way, but I've never tried to act any other way than what I am. Let's see. I'm typing in the description so I can know what this code is for. YouTube live peeps. That's what I'm going to nickname it. So I'll know. But like, what? Okay, we're going to do a 25% discount off your entire purchase. Um, uh, da, 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 da. The only thing with the coupons, like they can't be comp combined. You can't combine two coupons. Like I would go broke that way. Um, so that's the only restriction that I will put on here. And I will set it to be used. Let's see. Okay. All right. So go live is the... Uh, let me just make sure it says complete. Okay, coupon is created. All right, so it is go live. I'll put it in here. Wow, I can't Let's see what I'm doing. Dot com coupon. This is so funny. Twenty-five percent right. off, just in case somebody missed it. Go live. Okay. <laughs> hey, Joy. <laughs> All right, sis. Thank you. I'm I'm glad you're feeling me now. I'll give you a little side eye, but I still love you. <laughs> uh. Okay. Oh, so the other jacket that I want to show y'all. Now this one is. I'm going to have to pull these sleeves down again because I can't stand when my sweater is bunched up in the sleeves. That irritates the crap out of me. So this is a lace jacket that I think can actually be worn almost as a dress if you had like a full bodysuit on up underneath. I wouldn't wear the little bodysuit bodysuit, but I would wear like the little onesies, the fitted onesies all the way underneath it. It's not going to look that good under the sweater because it's too thick, but... This is so cute, oh my god. OMG. And then it has like the little tie. Of course, I haven't steamed this yet. This is literally just got off the truck yesterday, so it needs to be steamed. But let me back up a little bit. Hey, boo. Yes, with the nice pair of pumps swinging. <laughs> so cute. 
So message me or let me know if you think you want this particular jacket. It's not on the site yet. Um, but if you want one, I can put one to the side and then like send you a invoice or something. I don't know. The, so you reserve it. Cause sometimes I don't order a ton of stuff. I may order only six pieces or 12 pieces of a particular item just because sometimes the stuff is so expensive. Um, and I'm, you know, I think I bought like 30 different, um, not pieces, but styles at one time. And that gets like really expensive. So I don't want to hold too much inventory if you can only imagine. Um, so if there's something that y'all ever see, like always send me a message and I can always put one off to the side and that way the inventory don't get reduced on you. So, um, let's see, any other questions? <laughs> you are truth. <laughs> yes, boo. <laughs> uh, Oh, I'm putting my book out. I'm got, I'm, my deadline is to finish it, Lord. By my deadline was to finish, have my book finished by October. It's not the one about my life. I'm still so like, I've got so much anxiety about releasing that one. But this one is the business of starting a business because everybody's out here living their best life and starting a business. And I think it's great because we are in a time of entrepreneurship, entrepreneurship. And I think that's fabulous. But the problem is, you know, people give you ideas and like, oh, do this, sell hair or do, you know, lashes or do whatever it is. But nobody's telling you the actual business side of starting a business because there's so many things that I learned the hard way when it comes to just even securing a name, like legally protecting yourself, domain names and trademarking. And I mean, this book is going to, it's a guide at this point, but I've written so much into it. It may have to end up being a book book. Um, but it's really to give you really all the cliff notes, like understanding what you need to even open a business bank account and how to get like an EIN and what is an EIN versus a tax ID and, you know, protecting yourself, trademark and stuff. When should you trademark stuff? When, how should you pick a name? What should you do before you tell anybody? about it. So it's going to cover all of that stuff. And um, I just, I'm excited for it because nobody told me this stuff. And I think we all need it, you know, especially, um, I would say the minority, but especially because I can speak for the black community. Like it's, we don't grow up learning business. I mean, I have some friends that their parents taught them business sense and, you know, business, um, strategies and things like that. But hell, I didn't. My parents didn't know. Like they were flying by the seat of their pants too. So I think it's important that we not only empower and equip ourselves, but also our children. So like my boys, my, oh gosh, y'all, they, my oldest is almost 16 now. And my little guy is 11. And they are both working for me. They get uh, they, we do payroll, they get time sheets. They have to keep up with their time and track everything. And I just want to teach them things that I had to learn on my own and things, you know, like about stock. And like, even now I've been teaching myself about stock. The last stock I bought was Nike. Um, and that was just out of protest. That was like me supporting it, you know, doing it for the culture. It was not because, oh yeah, I'm going to get me some Nike stock. That stock was expensive and I'm going to even like, I only bought 10 stocks. Okay. 10, 10, but that 10 that I bought is already uh, made me over $150. Now that's not a lot of money. Don't get me wrong. But what I'm saying is when I bought it, when Donald Trump was doing all this crap, talking about Nike and Colin Kaepernick and all that stuff, I kind of bought it like at the same time. And it was like, 70 something dollars, low 70s. Then now I think it's like 80 something. So, um, yeah, but I have other stock in, um, and like some energy companies and stuff like that. I just dibble and dabble teaching myself, and I don't ever invest any money that I need. It's only money that I'm willing to say, okay, I'm putting this here and I'm done with it. Like it's disappeared, like it's gone. Like I don't own it no more because otherwise you'd get yourself in trouble. 
you know, so I don't want to do that. But yeah, I try to teach my kids everything. I'm teaching them about credit. My girl, Arnie Johnson. Now, I don't know if y'all saw the last Girl Boss video that I did with Shy, the girl who does my lashes. If y'all haven't seen that video, please watch it. She is such a rock star. She is phenomenal. Um, her story on how she got into doing lashes and becoming real a real boss babe is like, it's amazing. I mean, she literally, when she came to Vegas, she was working at a gas station. So there you go. And now she's writing her own checks. So, um, but at the, the next girl boss series or not the next one, but one of the upcoming ones will be featuring Arnita Johnson, who is the founder of AMB credit, also known as luxurious credit on Instagram. She is freaking amazing. I've known Arnita since high school. Like we've known each other over 20 years. And when I say she's the real deal, she's the absolute real deal. Not only just in, in the credit, um, industry, but also just business savvy wise and also being a friend. So I didn't have a lot of friends in high school and Arnie and I weren't like super close. We weren't like best friends, but she was always very kind to me. I was one of the most hated uh, girls in my school in my senior year anyway. Um, and she was always very kind to me. So when we graduated and I started my first business was Duclotney Marketing Services and um that was basically graphic design based marketing. And it was new. I had been in business for maybe a year and I basically would create business identities for people on paper, meaning um, like business cards, portfolios, anything that could be printed and designed, I would create it. She had just started A and B credit. She had gone through some amazing, like crazy um, training with this guru and <laughs> she just, she like, she just got it. And so I didn't know this, but at the time she wanted to do business with me to support me. And because she also needed the materials, I gave her a pretty good size discount, but she still spent like over $200 with me. And I didn't even know that that part of that $200 was some of the last money that she had in her bank account. I think she might've charged it on a credit card. Like she didn't even have the money, but it was to support me. And I will never ever, ever forget that. And so now Arnita is a millionaire and she is, she's like amazing. I love her so much. So please check Arnita out. Um, I've used her tips to repair my own credit because I went through a divorce um, 10 years ago and it just got really nasty. Actually, it's longer than 10 years ago, but um, really nasty. Oh, this light is dying and I look really bad right now, but we just gonna work through it. So my divorce was like really nasty and my credit got really ruined and screwed up. And it was just like one thing after another. I mean, for years, damage was being done. Long story short, I got serious about my credit a few years ago and I really started paying attention to her credit tips. And I was honestly too embarrassed to um, reach out to her and be like, hey, I want you to look at my credit because it was a mess. Like I couldn't even finance a cup of water. So I would always support her. I always bought her books. When she put out a book, I would always buy, you know, five or 10 books, pass them out to people. Or I have like four or five of them in my drawer over here. Um, I have got three or four of her planners over here. I'm always supporting her because that's what you do. And you, when you support your friends, you don't um, ask for discounts. And I'm not talking about y'all. I will always give y'all a discount. Um, and that's the thing, like my friends don't ask me for a discount, but I'm going to give them a discount. Uh, typically that's just the way it works, but I appreciate them not asking for a discount. They just want to support me. And that's what Arnita has always done. And I try to do the same thing for her. But anyway, back to what I was sitting about my credit, like now y'all, I'm like shy of the 800 club and you know, when I say it gives you a little boost of confidence. Yeah. So anyway, um, oh, I love that y'all chatting with each other in the in the comments. Um, but yeah, so, oh, student loans. Yeah, student loans are rough. Now, I will tell you, I dropped out of school, out of college, Um so I don't have, I didn't have a ton of student loans, but I did get those paid off um, back when I was, I think I paid the last part of it off when I was with my ex-husband because he had some change and that was well, you know, since he was going to cheat on me anyway, then I'm like, well, let me go and get these old loans paid off. So, but student loans will screw you. 
<laughs> I want to repeat some that's from an old movie that Joe Pesci was in. It has something to do with the drive through but I can't because I don't want YouTube to be tripping with me, banning me. But that F word through they F word you through the drive through or I can't. Anyway, let me not go there. Anyway, so um. <laughs> Um, yeah, student loans are evil. I know people that's been paying student loans for, God, well, because they can get the, low, the interest rate. That's what it is. They can get the interest rate really low. So they've been paying student loans for like 15, 20 years. It's crazy. But, um, ain't nobody talking about doing nothing strange for some change in order to pay off the student loans. That was my husband, girl. Stop. You jumping in the conversation late. You always be trying to throw shade, but I love you. I still let you hang out in here. But um, yeah. So anyway, um, anybody else have any questions without shade? <laughs> Golly. <laughs> What's the name of the book? Oh, um, which book, Latasha? Are you talking about my book or Arnita's book? Uh, Latasha, which book are you talking about, um, sis? The are you talking about the one Arnita has? It is. Hold on, let me get it. I still have three copies. I've given quite a few people some of her books, but. This one is called Luxurious Credit. She has, I think, a newer version out. This one's called The Ultimate Credit Guide. So, or The Credit Repair. The Ultimate Rep Credit Repair Guide to Having Luxurious Credit. And it is amazing. This is Arnie. Ain't she so cute? She's so cute. Look at her. Hey, sissy. <laughs> you can follow her on Instagram. And she gives tips on there all the time. That's how you know when somebody's legit. They don't care about giving you free tips because they stay booked. Arnita has a lot of employees. And I love her reach back game, meaning that she's always reached back into our community, like where we grew up. She has so many people that went to school with us and came up behind us working for her right now. And she's taught them the credit game, like, big time. So, <sighs> a nice cologne. Um... Y'all know I've been stuck in Creed, and I was just telling my mom <coughs> today, ironically, that um, I've got to find some different. I can't keep spending that kind of money on Creed. It's so expensive. Oh, my God. Um, I don't know if you can get it on Amazon, maybe, but if you go to, if you go to, if you're on Instagram, go to Luxurious Credit. Hang on, let me see what her website is off the top. I think it's A and B credit, or it might be, you may be able to go to, I think you can go to luxuriouscredit.com. If I can spell. Okay, credit.com. Yeah, so go to luxuriouscredit.com and you can order it from there because I don't know if it's, it comes digital, but she also has uh, Get the Business, which is the business credit guide, which I think, I don't know if I ordered one or not. I cannot remember, but I'm going to get that book if, if I don't already have. It. I know I have another business guide in there from her, but um, yeah. I just asked if you change from Cree. Oh, I thought you were asking about um, if I had like another like perfume to like suggest. Nah, girl, I'm still on that Creed. I'm on my last bottle too. It's the one that I didn't wear so much. So I had to <laughs> go to that one because oh y'all, Creed's so expensive. Expensive. <laughs> I used to collect Creed gifts, you know, 
you know, when you like get in a relationship with somebody and they're like, oh, what you want for Christmas? What you want for birthday? Oh, well, you know, I like Creed or whatever. I'm like, that's good enough. So I would save my bottles and not spray too much. So I would, you know, have them. But now, Killian, um, or if that's how you pronounce it, Ursula, um, Killian or whatever, I, there's something in it that I'm allergic to. One of my best friends, uh, I think, oh, maybe six or seven years ago, bought me, it was the one in the white case with like the little gold snake thing on it or whatever, the hard case. And I took it back because I was allergic to it. And then I tried some other ones. It seemed like everything that I tried from that brand, I had an allergy to. So I think it's something that's in their base formula that I'm allergic to. Um, yeah, I don't know, Chanel. Oh, thank you, Kiki. That made my day. Yeah, I can do flower bomb. So I'm allergic to neroli. Neroli is in a lot of perfumes. And um, I actually found out that I was allergic to it. So like, that was the thing with Creed. You spend so much money with Creed, but they do give you the service because they took the time to break down all the perfumes and colognes that I've been able to wear with no problems in the past. And they were able to single out different ingredients um, that for one, that kind of like led them to like the type of smells that I like, but also um, they were able to figure out what all those had in common that some of the other ones that I was allergic to or had a bad reaction to um, had in common and they were able to isolate neroli. Neroli is one of the most commonly used, um, I don't know if it's additives or whatever it is in cologne. And it's not an additive. It's, I think it's from a, a flower actually, but it's does me so bad. And it's in a lot of perfumes. So, um, what songs do I have in the jacket? Okay. The witch jacket, the fur jacket or the pink lace one, the pink lace one comes, I think it goes up to a double X and I do have that in stock. Um, the fur jacket, they only made that in a large. And yeah, I'm giving them side eye too, but it was too cute for me to leave behind. Oh girl, I would love to do a meet and greet in London. You hosting? Let's do it. <laughs> Speaking of meet and greets, I do want to do one here in Vegas soon very very soon i was thinking of doing one next month for my birthday but um you have a biracial child do you have any advice you get lots of backlash child that's the sad thing because i know um first of all first and foremost i ignore people that have ignorant things to say to me about my children because i am from oak cliff and that hood can never be taken out of me. Oak Cliff, Texas, that's inside of Dallas, real hood. And I got the text out of me. So I will find your IP address and I might knock on your door. So I don't play with people when it comes to my children. Um, I think it's hate and misunderstanding of themselves it has nothing to do with you or your children. Um, I think it's important as a parent of biracial children to expose them to all sides of their culture, but um, to gently, I guess not enforce the fact that like, you know, at the end of the day, people on the outside that are out to say like harm them, say like the um, like racist people, for instance, they're always going to see them as black or whatever their dominant um, race is. And of course, anytime black is mixed with anything, you're going to see that black for the most part, unless you have a biracial mom with another race having a baby, then sometimes their black features or whatever may get washed out. But for the most part, you're going to be seen, like I tell my boys, I have two boys, you know, you're going, you're seen as black men and you need to understand that. But I don't um, discourage them from learning about their dad's background and, you know, cultural things from that aspect. I just want two round, um, round, well-rounded, young, contributing members of society, you know, for my boys. So that's all I care about. Yeah. 
Um, yeah, people are horrible. They really are. But I, I turn into a mean little bear when people start talking about my kids. That's why y'all don't see my kids on on social media or YouTube. I usually have their faces blurred out. Occasionally, you may see my older son on Snapchat because he's older. And um, I don't mind exposing him so much because he wants to be. <laughs> but yeah. Yeah. But I'm sorry you have had to experience that and have had to go through that. I know exactly. I can relate to it for sure. Especially depending on like where you live. Um, that was one of the reasons why I moved out of Texas because um, my oldest son, you know, they were little at the time, but they'd been called the, he'd been called the N word. He was in a, a Christian private school in second grade or no first grade. And um, yeah, I didn't, he had been being bullied for three months and I didn't know. And the only reason I found out it was three months is because the day he identified that it started, um, he associated it with a particular event. And I was like, well, that was like three months ago. They wouldn't let him use the bathroom or drink water. And he almost ended up with a, um, a kidney infection and a urinary tract infection because he was holding his pee all day. Yeah, so I get very annoyed when people tell me um, that it like racism doesn't exist or it's like it's you're making it out to be something more. It's not true because then when he was in third grade, which is our last year in Texas, um, he was called the N-word repeatedly. Oh, and the kids, the first graders, the reason they told him, um, hold on, hang on, guys, I have a visitor at my door. Yeah. No, I'm I'm on YouTube. Why? Are you ready to go to the game? Yeah. Come here. Y'all want to see my oldest son? <laughs> I don't want y'all to see my little one. He's not ready yet. <laughs> <laughs> so, Ignore those haters, Lucy. They, don't read. Nobody's asking you to read our chat. This is our business over here. He's all over in the you chat. You fine. Oh, man. Wasn't nobody talking to you? <laughs> talking to me. <laughs> well, you're fine. That means I'm fine. Oh, gosh. Um, yeah, girls. I know it's horrible, but this little guy is going to his homecoming game tonight. So I've got to get off of here. It's been fun hanging out with you guys for an hour. Like I said, if y'all ever need anything, you could always hit me up. Um, either on Facebook, Instagram, or Snapchat. Some of y'all talk to me on Snapchat, and some of y'all like JoJo talks to me on all platforms, which I just love. Uh, <laughs> um, <laughs> so that's it. But I gotta take him to his his homecoming game. I said I was gonna be on here. I told myself I was like, oh, I'll do like fifteen minutes. But I'm glad we were able to squeeze an hour out. Um. If y'all have any other questions, just let me know. Hit me up. And of course, before y'all ever buy anything, hit me up personally, especially if I know y'all have been hanging out with me like on live or somebody's been rocking me, me a long time. Um, I will always give you like the better discount code. I think the regular one, the YouTube sub is like 15%, but that go live will be is 25%. So anyway, that's it. If y'all have any more questions or need to know anything else, just shout me out. Okay. I love you guys. Bye, sisters. <laughs> mm.